Jack says there are a thousand and one things you should know. Number 771, Bob Ross faked his fro. Bob Ross's signature fluffy nest of hair was in fact a perm. Due to a twist of fate on his road to stardom, his temporary hairdo became permanent. We know Bob Ross to be soft-spoken. Very subdued and quiet. But if you can believe it, back in the early 60s, he was a drill sergeant in the Air Force. Known around the base for his temper, he earns the nickname Bust Em Up Bobby. When he isn't screaming at new recruits, he indulges in what he loves most of all, painting. In 1982, after 20 years in the military, Bob leaves the service and is determined to become a professional artist. To help him get started, his wife gives him $1,000 of her own money, and Bob vows he will give up painting if he doesn't make his fortune. Ross takes a job going from city to city as a traveling art instructor. While Bob teaches a class in Florida, one of his students, a housewife named Annette Kowalski, becomes enthralled by his unique demeanor and believes she can make him famous. Annette takes Bob out for hot dogs and convinces him to teach seminars exclusively for her. At first, times are tough. In an attempt to save cash, Bob perms his hair knowing it will reduce his weekly visits to the barber. Fate steps in when Annette makes a logo for the company featuring Bob's now funkier hairstyle. According to one of his close friends, Bob in fact hated the fro, but now he was forced to keep the puffy style to avoid the expense of redesigning the logo. Desperate to get people to their seminars, Bob and Annette shoot a commercial at a local PBS station, with Bob painting a landscape on camera. The station loves Bob, and they ask him if he can do a whole show like that. Hello, I'm Bob Ross, and I'd like to welcome you to the joy of painting. And that, my friends, is how Bob Ross and his happy little cloud made out of hair came to be. The whole story reminds me of a quote from the master himself. We don't make mistakes, we have happy accidents. Bonus tidbit, Bob had a pet squirrel named Peapod. It probably nested on his head. What other Bob Ross facts should we know? Tell us in the comments section. And if you would like to see more videos like this, subscribe.